What's going on everybody? GM Drag is back with kind of Cause. So this is actually part two of my Have Fun Collectibles closing down sale haul, I guess you could say. So as I said, they're closing down and tons of back issues up for sale. And I got this, oh my gosh. Ugh. I got this very lovely stack of books for just about, I think it ended up being averaging out around to around dollar twenty-five an issue, give or take. So, oh yeah, I was, whew, I had to go back, I say this is the second trip I made down there and I just had to, cause it was just, I just had tons of stuff there. So <laughs> I just had to take advantage. So yeah, now I get to show it off to all of you maniacs. And so let's dive in. All right. So we got some DC action. Flash 69. Nice. Looks like I figure I'd catch up on some Flash action there. I already have issue 68, which is that dope variant that I showed off. And then here, so here's 67. 66. Cut down by the trickster. I like this cover. Yeah, that's a cool cover there. Uh 64, oh yeah, 65 might be the one I'm missing still. Unless I found, <laughs> excuse me, might still be in the stack, I can't remember. There's 64 variant there. Actually, I think the covers for 64, neither of them were that great, honestly. So I just went with the variant there. Here's 63, Secrets of the Speed Force. 62. Shattered by Psych. Here is 61, Buried Alive. Flyish. And 60, Beat Down by, I don't even know what that is, Fierza. 60, here is 59, 59, Drained by Gemini. Fifty-eight. What is the secret of Gorilla City? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't have all the answers. Flash. What do you think I am? So you got Gorilla God. So that's cool. I like this cover. And Flash and Gorilla God just make a interesting relationship. I guess you could say. Oh my gosh. Got some more Rogue action. Rogue's resurrection in Flash fifty-seven. I like that look of terror on his face there. Flash 56, the variant. I don't know what the standard cover looked like. I think this is one I kind of debated on too. And this one, ah, oh, I love this cover. Seriously, I've been eyeing this one for so long. I was gonna pick this one up just, just for this one. Fried by Heat Wave. Flash number 55, because this cover just looks so cool. Look at it, oh my gosh. I would have, seriously, I would have just bought this book. I was going to, just for that one. That's when I started looking into it. <laughs> and then Flash 54, I guess one too. The Flash, the fastest, oops, I mean, the strongest man alive, all swolled up. Flash hitting the gym, making games. Oh, let me get this. What's this you say, Gino? Yes, I will take another Supergirl 27 because I love this cover so much. Why not? Tell me. Why not? Exactly. Because look at it. I just love it. Seriously, this is frame worthy. I love this cover so much. And then, oh, what's this? Supergirl number 13 variant. Yes, I will take this one because it looks dope. And yeah, so I'm missing, for some reason I was not, I have not been able to find like Supergirl issues 12 through 15 or 16, but then I realized I think I already had 16. And then, so there's 13, and then 14, variant there as well. So, I'm just gonna Supergirl, and then what you do, just like I do with any back issue shopping, especially in cheap bins, or even, actually, because anytime time comic shopping, I see a lot of trial new stuff, new series. I'm going back to a series I haven't touched since the New 52. Action Comics, yes. Gino Dragon picked up some Superman comics, people. Don't go all crazy. It's not 
your uh, your internet is not freaking out. You're not being tricked. This is legit. This is actual actual news. Gino Dragon Boss from Action Comics. So 1007. So I mentioned in my what was it my new comic book day shopping video. I talked about Leviathan event Leviathan, which kicked off last week. Or, well, it's last week when I'm recording this. <laughs> From when I'm recording this. But it all started in Action Comics. So I just figured, you know what? Why not? Uh, Bendis Epting. I don't know what Anderson is, though. So I figured, why not? Let me see what, lead, what led up to it. So there's 1007, 1009, 2010, and 11. They did not have, but I want the variant of that one. I think it's the variant. And then eight is the one I want a variant of as well. So I didn't pick up the eight there. And then Action Comics 1000. Figured why not get the 80 page giant. It's 1000. I don't have Detective Comics 1000 yet. But it was $8 cover price. And basically, like I said, all these issues averaged out to about a dollar something an issue. So why not? And then this one was cool. This next series is cool. Well, partially. So I was looking through just looking through boxes, just flipping through. I flipped through every single thing, and I came across a series, Mother Motherlands, number one from Vertigo, and didn't know what it was. So I looked it up real quick just to kind of get an idea of what it was about, and saw that there were only six issues. So I was just kind of flipped through it, and I was like one. Now you're kind of one of them was out of order, but it's like one, three, two, four, five, six. Oh, hey, look at that. You got all six issues in miniseries. So, I'm going to take them off. So, we're going to try it out. And the only thing sad is, it doesn't look, the interior art is so con, in such in contrast to the cover art. It's actually, it's, it's disappointing. So, kind of, I'm like, I still want to read it, but, and then, I mean, the interior is still decent, like stylistically, but Eric Knett's covers here are so fantastic. It sucks that it don't look like I would. I would love that the interior looked exactly like this, but can't be all or can't be that way. So, number one, tagging trash and earning cash, multiversal man hunting with mama, and number two, the family that stays together slays together, which is actually backwards. It should be whoever, I don't know. That's weird. It should be the family that slays together stays together. So I don't know why they wrote it like that. And then here's number three. Meat is murder. So the series is about like this mother-daughter team. I don't know if they're, I think they, might, they might be bounty hunters or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. So here's number four, reject your elders. Number five, all sons are stars. And then number six, dead or alive. Looks like it's, I don't know if a lot is kind of getting crossed out there, but it could just be dead. <laughs> in that case, well, sucks for you. Oh, this one, I'm saving this book for last. That's the book I teased about in my vlog and I was kind of showing off these books. Oh no. Oh man. This one book got bent backwards, I don't like that. All right, so jump back to some Marvel action. Spider-Geddon, number four. Number three, sadly they did not have issue number five. Can't win them all. And number one, Spider Geddon, all the spiders. And here is Spider Geddon Zero, the spider event of 2018 starts here. Quite and Crane cover, featuring PS4 Spidey. I almost grabbed City of War, probably could have, but. Like, yeah, whatever. And here's Spider Geddon number two. And then another, oh, this, here's another series I was, uh, wanted to try out. I was looking at, when I was, when I posted on Reddit about wanting to check out the Fantastic Four series and getting, er, and asking for opinions about what people thought of it, the current run, uh, somebody commented about, this series from DC, The Terrifics. So, and I kind of looked into it because I didn't really know, I didn't know anything about it. I know Mr. Fantastic was on it. You got Mr. Fantastic, Metamorpho, Phantom Girl, and then 
Elongated Man or Plastic Man? I don't know which one is. I always get those two mixed up. I think it was Plastic Man, actually. Maybe. Somebody let me know in the comments below. So, yeah. So, they had Terrific. So, I grabbed Terrific number one. Terrific number two. And I couldn't find, they didn't have number, I thought they didn't have number three, so I was like, ah, oh, come on. So I looked it up, and the first three issues are the first arc, and then the second arc is four and five. Then I was doing, did a little more digging, and guess what? I came across issue number three, so there it is. I'm like, oh, sweet. So there's three, number four, and number five. So that was cool. I almost really could have thought about just getting every issue that they had there, but I was like, whatever. I won't. And then jumped over to Image. We got Pretty Deadly number 10. And these next few books, I actually just realized I have all of these already. So I have number 10. Number 9. <laughs> number 8 as well. And number 6. So oh, comics going to be falling all over the place. Number 6. I still need number seven. So, fairly certain I don't have it. And then next up we got, oh, this is a little series from Dark Horse, four issue mini series, and they had, happen to have all four issues. So, I was like, oh, cool. It is called Mystery Girl. What is this? Trent Hempstead, Street Detective, all mystery solved. So, just this four issue mini series, I looked it up and there's only four issues. I looked, saw that they had all four, so sweet. So, got Paul Paul Tobin, Alberto J. Albuquerque, and Marissa Luis. So, there is Mystery Girl number two. Number three. And number four. So, it's always cool. So, Mystery Girl and then Motherlands. So, it's always nice when you can come across cheap back issues of a mini series and catch the whole run. All together, that's great. Like, why not? And last up, we got two books left. Supergirl number seven. Finally got Supergirl number seven. I'm missing this issue. Uh, Cause I had one through six for a while and I started getting the rest of them, but I had not seen number seven yet. I finally came across it. I'm like, yes, finally. And I can't believe, it. for some reason I missed it. The first time I was at this shop, I probably just skipped over it, I don't know. But there it is. And then the last book, the book I teased. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This was the last book I picked up in the shop too. And I was looking at their variants on the wall and the rest of their wall books. And I was eyeing it and I was thinking, the dude had just uh, tallied up what my total was for the, uh, for the rest of the books. And I was looking at this cover was like, how much is that one right there? And yeah, I was like, you know what? Throw it on, I'll take that one too. I'm like, all right. So here it is, variant Batgirl number 25. This awesome, gorgeous variant from Joshua Middleton, who is a fantastic artist. And yeah, I've I seen this in another shop, but this one is in so much better condition. I think the other shop, there was like this one little, one or two little spine things there, whatever, but this one's so much better. And yeah, I don't care about the current background run that much, but I just wanted this book because this looks so good. Like, just look at that. Mm, just a matter of fact, I'm gonna, let's dig through and where is it? So I just, oh, just because I just wanna show off these two dope books again, Supergirl and Batgirl. Two fantastic variant covers. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at those. Look at those two. Look at those two superstars right there. So yeah, that is part two of my closing down shop sale. So half on collectibles. So to see you guys close down. Too bad. I know that was a lot of people's favorite shop. It was a dope shop. And yeah, so I had to come down and take advantage of sales and grab a gigantic stack of books. I almost went back. I had to stop myself from going back again the third time. I was like, you know what? I could probably go back down and get a whole bunch of books. So I could have grabbed some to flip or use a trade bait, whatever. But yeah, that just, I stopped myself. So yeah, so here is that. This is part two. I say I was happy to go down and take advantage of 
and get some books. I picked up a ton of Flash, some Supergirl books, action comics, so trying out that series, trying out Motherlands, checking out Spider Get In, The Terrifics, checking out that series. So yeah, from Pretty Deadly Duplicates, <laughs> and then, uh, what's that, uh, Mystery Girl. So a little mystery series there, so Bad Girl. So yeah, that is that. Uh, yeah, as always, let me know what you think of my haul. And what's going on with you, what you've been picking up lately, what you've been reading, how's the back issue shopping been for you guys. And yeah, now so now I get to go catalog a ton of issues, several hundred issues. And that's okay, I get to organize them. So it's gonna be fun. So yep, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching as always, thanks for supporting. Be up in the comments below, let me know what's going on with you, what you think of my haul. There's Gina Dragon saying, uh, happy, happy hunting, happy collecting, happy reading, and peace out. <laughs>